Hello everyone, this is Licky Giraffe here for my second ever YouTube video. And let's get right back into it. We are playing Dark Souls. If you've seen my last video, uh, we have just killed the dragon Calamite. Uh, so that was pretty fun. And if you bear with me, I'm just going to turn down the sound a little bit. And I've also upped the quality of uh, of this video, so hopefully, uh, hopefully you notice. Uh, okay, so back to it, right? Dark Souls. Um, now, I think what I'm going to do with this, for the start of this video is I'm just going to quickly go through, I guess, more of the mechanics of Dark Souls, uh, just so when you when you when you see me playing, you kind of have a bit of better idea of what's going on. So, I guess, yeah, I'll start off. So, uh, that box in the bottom right is my souls counter. Uh, so, every time you kill enemies, defeat bosses, uh, you, you gain souls. And you can use souls to uh, increase your attributes, uh, like strength, health, and these in turn make you stronger. So, pretty much, it's kind of like base currency of the game. We want lots of them, and we want to try to avoid losing them at all costs. Uh, next is my health bar up on the top, that's the red bar, uh, obviously that's how healthy I am. Uh, and I can upgrade that by say, spending souls to give myself more health. And the bar below that then is my stamina. Stamina is an interesting one. Uh, so you need to use stamina for sprinting and for blocking and rolling. And so if you're doing lots, you're rolling around lots, or you're blocking lots of attacks, as you can see now, it's going down, it's not replenishing very quickly. And then when it gets to like empty, then I can't roll anymore. Pretty much until it refills a little bit. Same with attacking. It's attacking takes stamina, and I can't attack then for a little bit until it replenishes. So it's really important uh, for me, for my character, because I, I, I use the sword and shield, so I block an awful lot, that I, uh, that I manage my stamina, because if I don't have any stamina, I can't block, I can't attack, and I leave myself wide open to get uh, kicked, kicked in the ass by some enemies. So uh, I guess keep an eye on that. So like you'll see me say like when I'm using my shield, kind of blocking and unblocking and offlock. Because when you're when you're not holding down the block button, your stamina bar recharges much quicker than if you are. So I'll show you now. So see how slowly that's recharging. But if I release, it goes much quicker. Uh, so next, just below that, you see the, the two kind of the two arrow symbols. One is yellow, the other is like three green ones. Uh, those are just buffs I have on. Um, those are the rings. So I have I have the ring of favor and protection and the Chloranthi ring. And these pretty much just give me buffs to like my stamina regen. And uh, the first one, the yellow arrow, also gives me I think a bonus to my health and stuff. Uh, next on the top left is the, kind of the circle with the numbers in it. That's, uh, that's how much humanity I currently have. And uh, this is a bit of a, an interesting concept in Dark Souls. So, you can, you can remember being, being, being in two states. You can either be dead, well, undead, or you can be, or you can be uh, like, uh, human, I suppose. And every time you die, if you, if you were undead, you stay undead. If you were alive, you go back to being undead, and you need to spend humanity to become alive again. And the reason you'd want to be alive is that the I think the item drop chance gets better, so like enemies are more likely to drop items. And I think there's a couple of other minor buffs. I never really paid a huge amount of attention to it. Um, and also you, you can use it to kindle bonfires as well, uh, which pretty much makes them give more Estus flasks. So see now down the bottom left, you see the the kind of the yellow flask thing, so Estus flasks. Uh, if you use one of them, you can regain health. And you start off, I think the base amount you have if you rest at a bonfire is five. And then if you kindle a bonfire, uh, and you spend humanity to like, make the bonfire better, you can get 10. And then if you do it again, you get 15. And then finally, you, do it, you get 20. Um, now, I wouldn't normally do kindle bonfires all the way to 20. It was just for the Dragon Calamity, I was having a bit of trouble, so I decided I'd kind of need the extra Estus Flasks. 
So that's why I, 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 I kill the bonfire. And then um, finally then the other two icons are just my weapon and my, my shield. So yeah, I guess let's, uh, let's head on then. So rest of the bonfire, that's going to be my checkpoint if I die, that's where I'm going to zoom back to. Uh, so here we go, to the Ulasal Township. Now I've already been here before to do a section of this, um, so I need to do a little bit of backtracking to get back to where I was. So let's see all these guys, so I'm just kind of targeting them. And Dark Souls, it's very much like I know what timing when to attack, because once you like say press the attack button and uh, your character is going to attack there's no uh, like say stopping halfway like once you commit to attacking you continue the attack animation so if you miss time on attack then an enemy can really easily just say come in it's like hit you in the face when you're made swing and then that'll knock you off balance and everyone will be able to wail on you so it's really really not good and that's why it's important to kind of time your attacks and be patient and kind of wait Till you know that like an enemy is is weak or they have a vulnerability. Uh, okay, so this is pretty much over there. It's pretty much where um, I did the previous exploring. I came down and this this uh, this actually was a shortcut I unlocked, and it's just the elevator there. So now we just continue on down the hallway. Uh, you know, this is a part of the game I've never done before. So apologies if I get a little lost. Those guys are doing pretty nasty damage to me at the moment because those black bolts they have. So I'm just going to switch my shield to one that has a like, high magic resist to try and negate a lot of that damage. There. Easy peasy. So, let's just check around here. Uh, Dark Souls is a great game for hiding treasure in unusual places or places say that like you'd miss it's like right in a corner or something so it's always it's always beneficial to have a look around just in case you do miss something oh, what's that guy now Ugh. I'm not really sure what this guy can do, so I'm just going to kind of play defensively for a little bit. Try to figure out what his attack patterns are, what kind of moves that he has. time I attack. I left myself open and he was able to get a lot of damage on me. Dark Souls is very much kind of a game about patience. You uh, don't want to kind of rush in and do something stupid because that's how you get killed. It's all about picking the right time to attack. The right time to attack. You know, when your enemy is weak and then attacking, doing some damage and repeating the process until your enemy is dead. Now, it might seem a little boring, a little bit slow. Um, one of the things I really like about Dark Souls is that combat feels very satisfying. Oof, ow. Alright. 
Oof, jeez. Oh, that is pretty mad. I got extremely low on health there. Um, I mustn't have had more than like 10 HP left, isn't it? I'm actually getting pretty hurt by this guy. I've actually got two asses tasks now. He hits hard. But there we go. That's dead. Uh, I think that was probably a mini boss. Hopefully it was. I really don't want to have to kill that guy uh, any more times than I have to. He was pretty annoying. As, as you saw. As well, when people are playing through Dark Souls and they can leave these notes. Oh. You can leave these notes for other players. So he would just, uh, whoever left that note, then would just tell me to watch out for that guy there. So, pretty nice. Pretty nice guy. Uh, oh, and that is a bonfire. Super. Like this guy. So you see now that I've rested the bonfire because this bonfire isn't kindled. Um, my S flasks haven't recharged to twenty. Uh, they're still at seventeen, and so they aren't going to recharge then until I think I have less than five. At which point they'll recharge to five, because uh, this bonfire is only at like the basic level. You get me. Oh, right. Cool. Um, like I said, I'm not sure how much longer um, I will need to play for before I come to the next bonfire, so I said it's probably a good time to just stop here. Uh, so, a bit of a quick video, but um, still really fun. Uh, thanks for watching, as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye.